Welcome to Hamiyo Cam. Today's our lecture topic is oxidation number and rules. The outline of today's lecture will be definition, examples, and rules. First of all, we will go through the definition of oxidation number or oxidation state. Oxidation state or oxidation number is defined as charge an atom will have in a molecule or in a compound. Oxidation state is actually a number of electron that an atom will gain or loses in order to form a chemical bond with some other atom. So we can define the term oxidation state as the degree of oxidation or the reduction of an atom. Oxidation involves the loss of electron and reduction involves the gain of electron by some elements. Now we will go through some examples of oxidation state or oxidation number. Here are some elements with their oxidation states group 1a, 2a, 3a, hydrogen, group 7a and oxygen. The first one is group 1a. Group 1a elements has an oxidation state of positive 1 for example lithium and sodium. Lithium and sodium both contain a single valence electron. So lithium and sodium will lose its valence electron and will form a single positive cation and will acquire an oxidation state of positive 1. In the same way, the group 2 element has an oxidation state of positive 2, for example, magnesium and calcium. Magnesium and calcium both have an S2 electron in their valence shell. So these two will lose these two electrons that is present in their valence shell and will acquire a positive 2 oxidation state or form a di-positive cation. In the same way, the group 3A element, for example, boron and aluminium, both these have an oxidation state of positive 3 because these two elements contain their valence electron in third group and three electron in their valence shell. So these two elements will lose its three electrons and will form a tri-positive cation and an oxidation state of plus 2 will be achieved. The next one is hydrogen. Hydrogen exists in positive 1 as well as in negative 1 oxidation state as in the case of metal hydride. And what is a metal hydride? A metal hydride is a compound containing a metal attached to a hydrogen. The first one is sodium hydride. And the second example is hydrogen chloride. In the first example, sodium hydride, sodium as we have already discussed belongs to group 1A. So it will lose its valence electron and will form a positive 1 charge. In, in the same way, in to order to neutralize this molecule, the hydrogen will acquire a negative 1 oxidation state. In the second example, hydrogen chloride, chlorine belongs to group 7 and so it will have uh, an oxidation state of negative 1 and hydrogen to balance this molecule will acquire a positive 1 oxidation state. So hydrogen exists in both positive 1 oxidation state as well as in negative 1 oxidation state. The next example is group 7a. Group 7a elements have an oxidation state of negative 1, for example, fluorine and chlorine. Both these elements have 7 electrons in their valence shell, so they will gain 1 electron and will acquire an oxidation state of negative 1. However, chlorine exists in many other oxidation states. Some, for example, it exists in positive 7 oxidation state, but generally they have an oxidation state of negative 1. The next one is oxygen. Oxygen exists in negative 2 oxidation state as well as in negative 1 oxidation state as positive 2 oxidation state, for example, in OF2. The f there are three different examples. The first example is Li2O. In Li2O, the oxidation state of oxygen is negative 2 because as lithium belongs to group 1A element, so this lithium will have an oxidation state of positive 1. 
as there are two lithium atoms present in this molecule so each oxygen lithium will acquire a positive one and these two lithium will form a total positive two charge and to balance it oxygen will have a negative two charge the next one is of2 in of2 as we have discussed that fluorine belongs to group 7a so it will have an oxidation state of negative 1 and there are two fluorine atoms so the total charge on fluorine will be negative 2 and to balance it oxygen will have a positive 2 oxidation state or positive 2 charge in the last example na2o2 sodium belongs to group 1a and there are two sodium atoms present so the total charge on sodium will be 2 positive and to balance it there are two oxygen atoms so the net charge on these two oxygen atoms will be minus two and each oxygen atom carrying a charge of negative one so by, uh, while going through these lectures we have observed that oxygen in the first example have an oxidation state of negative 2 oxygen in the second example happens of has an oxidation state of positive 2 and oxygen in the last example has an oxidation state of negative 1 so we can say that oxygen exists in number of different oxidation states now we will go through some rules of calculating the oxidation state or oxidation number Oxidation state of uncombined or free element is always zero. For example, sodium and zinc. If both these elements exist as a free element, free element means that it is not attached to any other atom. For example, sodium is not attached to chlorine to form a sodium chloride. It exists as a single atom or a free element. Then the oxidation state of these free elements or zinc or sodium is zero in, sim in simple line the oxidation state is same as their charge for example sodium ion and calcium ion sodium as belongs to group 1a so it will lose its valence one valence electron a single valence electron to form a positive one charge on sodium and will form a sodium positive one ion and calcium as belongs to group 2a will lose its two electron and will form a dipositive cation and will acquire a positive oxidation state of positive 2 in complex sign the charge on it is equal to the total sum of oxidation state for example co3 negative 2 and nh4 positive 1 in the first example co3 negative 2 the sum of the net charge on one carbon and three oxygen is negative 2 and in the second example the net charge on one nitrogen and four hydrogen is positive one this means the co3 have an oxidation state of neg negative two and nh4 has an oxidation state of positive one for a neutral molecule or compound the oxidation state of each atom is equal to zero for example carbon dioxide and ammonia in carbon dioxide the sum of oxidation state of one carbon and two oxygen is zero and in the same way the sum of oxidation state of one nitrogen and three hydrogen in ammonia is zero do you know oxygen exists in negative half oxidation state such as in ko2 as we know that and we have discussed that potassium belongs to group 1a element so it will have an oxidation state of positive one so to balance it to balance this molecule the oxygen will have an oxidation state of negative half and both these oxygen atoms will collectively form a charge of negative one